Hello you guys, we're, we're going to do my first, I mean I guess this is still going to be part of my um, staycation vlog series, you know what I mean? But um, this is going to be my first ever like hair transformation, um, what's well, really just like a root touch up, of, I don't know what the title is going to be just yet, but it's going to be something dramatic like that of course, for clickbait purposes, you know what I mean? But like for all the right reasons, obviously. Like always, I don't do anything I don't like uh, unless I think it's like lighthearted and fun and that um, you guys would enjoy it. But always comment down below and your constructive feedback and criticism is my favorite thing as a creator. And um, the more that I've grown as a creator, the more I've learned to um, really take things with a grain of salt and know that uh, and understand what people are here for the right reasons. And 99.9% um, .9 of you are. And um, regardless of your intention of being here, thank you so much for being here. Um, but the next time that you guys see me, I will no longer have roots. <laughs> well, you might see me, like, during the process, you know what I mean? Like, because, because I'm, I'm a tea bleacher, like, I, I, I bleach it twice and I tone it twice, and that's just the method to my madness, and, like, I use Olaplex, the whole thing. I might show you a little bit along the way, I don't know why I, like, was so, like, finite about it, you know? But no, like, you'll see, um, you'll see a little bit of the process for sure, but, like, that finished product, and... Once it's like blow dried and straightened and the whole thing and uh, it's like there's no more of this like blonde hair and black roots situation like you look so good with blonde hair and black roots it's like not even funny like to quote Romeo and Michelle Romeo and Michelle's high school reunion um uh yeah that whole situation that whole blonde hair and black roots situation is about to be taken care of and you guys are gonna be here with me and um your girl can't wait to do it it's like 4:30 a.m. But I'm not tired, and I slept like 12 hours, so I'm, su I'm, super, I'm feeling super inspired. Plus, I'm ready to have this roots taken care of, so let's, let's get to work, sis. And I'm talking to me. I'm talking to myself while talking to you guys. So yeah, that was weird. See you soon. Okay, you guys, um, here is, uh, welcome, to this part of this, welcome to this part of the video. But um, I'm shirtless just because um, I, uh, I'm letting my first round of... Um, 40 volume developer, um, toner, um, and bleach sit for about, um, 55 minutes exactly, that's what I said about, because it's, a, that's exactly how long this set the timer for, and then, um, I've, I've got my, um, my, I've got my other 40 volume developer right here, yes, and then I've got my bleach kit right here, I've got my gloves and everything, um, yep, yeah, uh, they're already lighting up a lot, uh, I just finished the application and just set the timer because I wanted to, like, um, I wanted you guys to like uh, share the experience with me, but as you can see, they're lightening up very, very easily. Um, I just on the on the first round of bleach, I just decided um, since I trimmed my hair at least a good six inches last time, whenever I cut it about two months ago now, yes, uh, officially two months ago. I can't believe it that I've been blonde that long either. But um, no, uh, I will keep you guys updated on the progress or whatever. But um, I just decided to, to lighten it up a little bit because there were still a little, a little there's some pieces of yellow. It was platinum, very, very platinum, and it, it never said it wasn't or whatever. But I wanted it to just but I want it a little bit lighter, so uh, the ne next time around I'm just going to um, match my roots or whatever to the rest of my hair and just do my roots and just touch them up as opposed to like, you know, this first time when I did my, my entire full head. But yeah, like I mean, it's not even been on for uh, for five minutes, like tops, not even three, four, three minutes at the tops, you know what I mean? So um, I'll keep you guys posted, um, it's lightening up really well, I've done it a million times, it's going to go well, but I just thought it would be really, really fun and fresh and sassy and chic and... I don't know, once again, fun to do this uh, on camera as opposed to just like, uh, I don't know, this, it just seemed fun to share with you guys, but um, I, uh, I just was like, I was like, I was going to wash my makeup off or whatever, but I was like, well, I'm going to have to get in the shower, and I'll just wash off in the shower, and then what, my mascara won't never completely comes off, because that L'Oreal um, Beauty Cubes mascara is everything, and it takes a lot to come off, so I'll probably have to use some makeup. Um, you can tell that's good, you know, I have some right here, which I will do so. Oh, also, by the way, I'm so glad I just grabbed this one to show you guys something. Uh, okay, like, uh, as you guys know, I'm a Maybelline queen, I love their, um, their regular just waxy lipsticks, I love their, I love their metallics, and I love, um, their liquid lipsticks, but, um, uh, if you guys know anything about me or my channel, even if you're new, it doesn't matter, but, um, I'm a huge fan of uh, Maybelline Superstay, it's a full coverage foundation, 24-hour matte, and, so, uh, Joe surprised me with, uh, Maybelline Superstay full coverage, uh, 24-hour, um, concealer in the shade, uh, oh, one, oh, zero 005 Ivory, um, my, which is a little bit lighter than my foundation that I that I currently use, which is that I'm almost out of. As you can see, it's like down to about right there where my thumb is, yes. But um, it's 112 Natural Ivory. I don't know if, the, if you can see it. The light is pretty good in this, in this bathroom. I didn't even bring my ring light in here because it's not, it's not that bad. Plus, uh, I, I've kind of been like embracing the whole natural lighting thing because my RV just is 
our RV camp slash camper slash whatever you want to call it, recreational vehicle, just doesn't have the good, just doesn't have that lighting. It's like ring light is always necessary, or some kind of lighting, like a flash, or at least my flash on the phone, you know. But no, um, I just wanted to go ahead and um, unbox this for you guys and like try it out and just see like how how it, like if it works or not, you know, the whole thing. Okay, this is gonna be another awkward angle or whatever. But um, honestly, like I, the more uh, the more I become a YouTuber and a creator, um, the more it doesn't really bother me. But I really want to unbo unbox it, and um, you can never have too much concealer, and it's not really gonna mess with that makeup look. And there's a glare right there, so I'm gonna... hmm, is there always gonna be a glare? Let's see. Um, yes, it looks like there is. That's okay. <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. I'll just stand back a little bit because I'm pretty sure like a lot of people like have you know Chromecasts and, and things of that nature anyway. Okay. Um, but yeah, there's like a before and after, and if it if it stays true to the disclaimer, then I'm all, I'm here for it all day long. Okay. I don't know if I, if, I, if I've ever shown you guys like my um scoliosis scar like due to me having Marfan syndrome, but I'll go ahead and show you guys. I had a photograph to my left hip right here. Uh, it was whenever I was 15 years old, and then this is my um, uh, Harrington Broad uh, fusion surgery. Yeah, there's like a, there's a, there's a, there's a ton of like pins and screws, etc. But okay, first of all, I just want to do some first impressions with this and unbox it for you guys. Okay, cool. Yeah, like I was, I'm a little disappointed just because I thought it would be like matchy matchy, but it's not. That's okay. It came in a little tube, and um, it looks like the application is going to be easy. Let me just go ahead and get. Um, I mean, this is my blush brush, but, um, I just cleaned my brushes, that's why they're a little bit, um, haggard looking, so I'll just use this to, um, blend it in with. I might even just be able to use my finger. Let's see here. I'm trying to think of a better angle. Rear BRB. Okay, that's, that's a cute little angle. Well, you guys, like, I'm so glad my, it's so funny, I wish you guys could see this, I don't know how to, how to make you, how to make you guys see it, or let, uh, allow you guys to see it, let you guys see it, I don't know, but, um, no, it's like, I, luckily the legs of my tripod, like, you can, um, they're, they're bendable, they're pliable, and I just folded them around, um, the actual, literal, and genuine towel rack. You can't see this one either, but, yeah, you, you guys, you guys have seen that, the, you guys are, have already seen the hotel vlog and tour, probably, anyway, but, um, okay, yeah, let's just see, I'm gonna do, like, first impressions, obviously a fragrance test, oh, okay, cool, it's got a little doe foot applicator, perfect, awesome. Let me just see here. Um, it just smells like makeup, you know what I mean? Let me see if I can just see the monitor here. Oh, I can't, okay. It's not bad lighting at all. I mean, I'm, I'm sorry for that little bit of schlaw, whatever that's happening right there, but... Okay, oh. It's very creamy. Okay. That's about how much... I mean, that's actually a little bit more concealer than I, than I normally use, to be honest with you. Let's see here. I mean, okay, yes, it, it is right on top of my, um, my, uh, e.l.f. neutralizing concealer, you know what I mean? It, but I used a very, very minimal amount, it's pretty much just that Maybelline foundation, and yes, like, you do, most people do, at least I do concealer before I do foundation, but just not in this case. I still think I can get a, get, get a pretty good idea of first impressions there for you guys. Whoa. <laughs> Sorry, mascara. I know. She's holding up, though. She's doing pretty good, honestly. I didn't bring my hair clips. I know there's some stragglers and stuff, but if you guys are like, oh my god, it's gonna burn and stuff, it won't. It really won't. Oh my god, it's already getting so white. And as I said that, look at that. It looks like it looks like ramen noodles. <laughs> I love it. Okay, where am I? Oh, yeah, right here. Let's see. I'll always do a little bit right there, too. Why not? It's pretty. Let me change angle. Okay, that's a better that's better lighting, and I think it did a pretty good job. I think there were more bags before. During the editing process, I'm definitely gonna have to like go back and see if I think that 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 if I think that that is the case. Okay, that was correct. I didn't stumble over my words for once, but um, yeah, <laughs> super. Uh, I'm not super impressed. Um. Should I apply a little bit more? I'm just gonna, I'm gonna apply a little bit more and I'll be able to... You know what I mean? It's just like, I just want to give it a fair test, so... Let's see. I don't know 
why I said I was going to do it off camera, because I'm just doing it on camera, but I really wanted you guys to get a first person with me, an honest person presence with me. And I'm sorry about all the changing angles, it's just like, I'm not used to filming here, like I said, but... Okay. I'm just going to do it on top of my mascara, this is all coming off soon anyway, because this is really about my hair. This part, this part of this vlog is about my hair anyway. This may have to just be one vlog, the vlog depending on how long it is. We'll see. Okay, I didn't, um, Joe didn't tell me how much it was, but, okay, I have to say, after using a little bit more, that those bags are pretty freaking snatched. I mean, let me adjust it a little bit on that, um, on those upper, on those upper eyes, you guys. I know this is a blush brush and people are probably going to clock me on it, whatever, but it, that's the only one that, it's the first one that was, uh, that, that was relatively dry and still a little damp, but not too damp. Okay. Okay, yeah. I mean, depending on how much it is, like, you do have to use a lot, but if it's, like, if it's not that expensive, if it's, like, you know, less than ten dollars, it's way better than that than my elf, and I hate to say that because she's been so good to me. I mean, you've been so good to me, girl. <laughs> I didn't mind the kiss that time. I don't really mind that sort of thing for you guys. But no, um, I'm really really excited about this, and I can't wait. Um, I've been ready. I've been ready for those fruits to be snatched back once again. And oh my god, yeah, they're already getting to that because like I have natural um, orange and slash red hues in my hair, and it always goes to the orange stage. Orange stage first, and then. Once I toned it enough, then I'll, you know, go through the whole thing with the purple, the, the proper purple shampoo and conditioner and leave-in purple conditioner, the whole thing, it'll be, it'll be the desired blonde that I want, and it's going to be a little bit translucent in some places, slash lavender blonde, but I hope you guys are cool with that, because that's what I'm going for, and okay, the more that that concealer sets, okay, yeah, and that's on top of, like, other concealer and other foundation, and like highlighter and all kinds of stuff and mascara and like you know yeah so not, and primer yeah not not bad I'm impressed but I'll see you guys um during some other part of the process of the whole processing of my hair I love you okay um so this is after the first round of processing and treatments and stuff um there are some lavender pieces as you can see I'll turn it this way as you can see that's exactly what I wanted that's why and look how healthy it is look at that. Oh my god, it's so freaking soft. Um, I, I put my leave-in conditioner in it, and just, um, like I did, uh, you do, obviously you don't shampoo your hair right after you dye it, but no, like I told you guys, there's always, like, an orange, relatively brassy, like, strawberry blonde-esque stage or whatever, whenever doing, whenever I bleach my hair, but, um, the next time that you guys see me, which is gonna be, like, the icing on, on the cake when it comes to, um, well, I mean, the next, no, the next time you see me is whenever, um, I'll have the next round of treatments on my head and stuff, um, in my hair, on my head, whatever. But no, um, it's it's like so bouncy. It's super blonde. I'll let you guys see the back. Like it's it's gorgeous. I love the length. It's super bouncy. But no, this time, uh, this time around, I'm just gonna focus on um, focus on those roots and all the, these sections. Probably about like I would say that's about an inch and a half. You know what I mean? And just um, yeah, it's gonna be super super beautiful and healthy and bouncy. And I'm super excited. And yeah, I went ahead and just washed most of my makeup off. Um, I didn't get all that mascara off because it's really really good. Like I was showing you guys or whatever, but oh my god, I'm in love with that color. Yeah, like there's no more yellow tones. I mean, well, after we get completely done, there, there aren't going to be any more yellow tones. And I'm super, super excited because um, I don't like to be a brassy bitch. Let's just let's just be honest. I think you guys know that about me at this point. And if you don't, I just don't like being a brassy bitch. I'm being honest. But um, I will see you guys in the next part of this vlog. Okay, so I mean, I know that I said that I was not, uh, that like I was going to, the next time you, that you saw, the next time that you guys saw me, um, I would be uh, like in the next step of like di of the, the dyeing my hair process, but I wanted to show you guys my hair actually dry. Um, the only thing that I've done is added um, I added this uh, the not, this not your mother's blonde um, blonde moment so it'll protect leave in. It says it protects and enhances blonde tones conditions with uh, violet violet rice for everyday use and um, I've used a lot of it. Like um, it, it's just I just like it a lot or whatever just because. Um, I mean, you know, bleach isn't, isn't necessarily good for your hair, but, um, I'm, I'm really, really happy with the color. Like, there's lavender tones in it, like, there's highlighter tones in it. Obviously, like, I'm, I'm not done. Like, I'm gonna fix the roots and stuff and make the roots match up to the rest of it, but it's really, really cute. I like it. I like it a lot. I'm really impressed with it. Let me see the back in the mirror and everything. Yes. I mean, it's, 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 it's got a lot of balance. It's super, super, super healthy. 
I mean, I'm not gonna probably tell the middle and stuff, but like, um, if anybody that's like, if, if anyone else is uh, familiar with bleach, you're well aware of the fact that like, um, your hair shrinks a little bit. It's like a little bit, um, uh, it's, it's quite porous, you know, um, that's just how it is. Uh, you can ask Brad, Brad Mondo, he even says so. But, um, yeah, um, I, f I think it turned out really pretty. I'm really impressed with the color. I like it a lot. Um, it's very, very consistent. I think it did a pretty damn good job. But, um, but this time, for reals, uh, the next time you see me, um, uh, I'm just gonna be, I'm just gonna show you the finished look, and I might just, maybe, there possibly might just be a follow me around somewhere where I might go to a store that I haven't been to in a while and pick out some new makeup products, possibly. I don't know. Maybe. Hello you guys once again, and welcome to this part of, uh, of today's video. My first ever, like, hair transformation vlog, if you will. But, um... Okay, so I just did my second round of bleach, uh, 40 volume, um, developer, uh, leave-in conditioner, and the whole thing. And um, actually, literally and genuinely, like the next time that you guys see me, um, will be you guys will be following me around with my, whenever my hair is completely dried. I mean, it's gonna look like it's not dry because my leave-in conditioner, I, I went the fine print on my um, not your mother's leave-in conditioner, and it says that it um, it's for everyday use, but it also kind of like leaves your hair looking and like it has a dewy finish, but it's in small print on the back. And I'm not gonna like hold it there, so like so long, so you guys can like scan down, pause it, and do both. Yeah, it's like I'm sure you guys believe me, but no. Like so, yeah, it got that going for me. You can use it like as needed. Um, but I, it's I, I just now finished with like because as you can see, like I didn't I made sure like I only hit the tips of the tips that like I'll do like this. I'm sure you guys can see, yeah. Of like you know what I mean. And it's like because I wanted to make sure that I, I focused on my roots, which I did. I'm not going to part my hair or touch it or anything, I don't have any clips like I said, but I mean, um, I'm really, really impressed with the color um, that like my roots are not, if that makes sense, because it's really, really freaking beautiful, and I'm um, sorry, I'm just off the camera lens just then, it gets really foggy in here, um, uh, just because it, it, it's hot, and I, it's, it's like, I just take my time, and um, it, you know, I, like I said, I just, it hasn't even, it hasn't not even been two minutes since I began vlogging, and um, so I set my timer for yet another 55 minutes, and um, I just wanted to make sure that like only the, 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 the few ends that did get bleach all the way like from root to tip, which as you can see there are only a few, like you know what I mean, like I'll do another one of these for you guys so you guys can, you guys can see the back I just, and, and the sides and stuff better. Or maybe on this slide too it'll help, like you see what I mean, like I just wanted to make sure those roots were snatched and matched everywhere else. And the only strands that like, like I said, like there is going to be some, like it's, there's going to be some, there are, there are going to be some lavender blonde highlights, I'm sorry, I always like, I always stumble over my own words, no matter what time of the day it is, or no matter what kind of vlog it is, it doesn't matter, I always just stumble over my words, and plus I do that in my real life, so if I edit, if I edit it out, I think it would be a little bit inauthentic slash non-transparent, what do you guys think? I think so. Um, also, I want to give a quick shout out to my new, newest, dearest friend, um, her name is Tracy, she's amazing. She looks like she's my age, but I'm just all I'm gonna say is she's not. Um, she's so talented. She's just she's a creator that's um, also just starting out and um, relatively new. And um, like we're we're already making plans to collaborate. I'm so excited. She's the real deal. I hope you don't mind me um, mind my um, sharing that, uh, Tracy. Um, before I upload this, if you do mind, I'll just edit this part out or whatever, and I'll message you on Insta and make sure that it's okay. But um, I love you guys so much. You can make this part in the vlog. But next time you see me. You're gonna be following me around Target slash Sephora. Excuse me, I believe it's about 5:30 to 6 p.m. tops here in um, Nido. Well, actually, we're actually in Port Arthur, Texas, and the mall is no no less than like actually, literally, and genuinely like three to five miles away. From, I mean, three, two to like two to three minutes away tops. That's, it's, it's a really close drive. Like it's in the very near vicinity to this hotel is what I'm trying to say, you guys. And to make a long story short, short before I just rant and ramble, um, the next time you see me, this hair should be snatched to the gods. Might cut my style a little bit differently for the first time since it's going to be a little bit more porous and it's going to shrink just a little bit. Like I might be able to like spike it up with some leave-in conditioner and gel and like hairspray and stuff. We'll see. But that's not that's not your guys that's not you guys' problem. It's mine. So um, yeah, I'm really excited. I can't once again I'll do a little 360 and all the different kinds of lighting. You know what I mean? And actually, BRB, I want to do like my phone's flashlighting really quick. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I wanted you guys to get a full effect. Like, you know what I mean? At least have some kind of a flash. So this could at least be like 720p and the whole like YouTube like quality aspect of it all. But um, yeah, I'm going to make sure there's no weird like um, ghastly fingers being pressed up against my microphone, like unbeknownst to me, like always. Because as you guys can see, 
you're on my tripod, you know what I'm saying? You're on my tripod, girls and boys, and everybody in between. But no, I just wanted to, like I said, I just wanted to do a 360 kind of, in different lighting, but also with my flash on. And let you guys know that, like, um, the next time you see my hair is going to be snatched, because I've done this a million times, and obviously I've, like, I mean, if you're new to my channel, you're not, you're not well, aware of, well aware of the fact that, like, um, um, I took um, six months of cosmetology school, I just never got graduated, and um, I was the number one colorist in my class. So, but, you know, the more you know, NBC logo from the 90s goes by, but um, now I've officially started to rant and ramble, and that's never what I want to do, you guys. That's never what I want to do. Sorry about that. Okay, you guys, so minor um, setback and kind of... Um, I didn't really lie to you guys, um, it's just I didn't know that um, Sephora closed at 8 o'clock on freaking Wednesdays. They're open and they and then like on, uh, on Friday, they're open till 9, so it looks like we're going to have to settle with doing a follow me around Target, which is cool because as you guys can see, the makeup department is this way. And um, I have no problem with like getting, um, like, because uh, I really need a new highlighting and bronzing palette because that's what I'm running the lowest on or whatever, at least a quality one if that makes sense. I'm rocking my, um, my Stacey Adams shoes, I'm rocking my Julian Burke purse, obviously. It's my only um, designer purse, thank you to my, thanks to my little sister Madison. But oh my god, okay, we've already arrived at um, freaking, uh, oh no, this is hair. We've already arrived at cosmetics, like I see palettes, the whole thing. So here we go. Um, okay. Like I'm really not, I'm trying to not splurge because it's like last time I went to Sephora I spent like $200 or something. But um, yeah, so... Um, I will, I will be right back. So, like, I forgot, um, jo say hi, Joe. <laughs> um, that, like, because, like I said, um, because he was just going to go walk around Target and look for some, few, look for a few things, maybe some new clothes and stuff. Oh, my God, the store lining. Look how, like, see-through and, like, lavender blonde my hair as I'm living. It's everything. Okay, so I did, I did find this, um, Elf Cosmetics, and I, I love Elf, Co Elf Cosmetics, um, and I needed a setting spray because my NYX Cosmetics setting spray just ran out. Um, so I found this one. El Actually, Joe helped me find this one. Joe, will you hold this, please? Thank you. So now, um, please help me find, I have no idea where to look, I want to find a good, like, contouring and bronzing and highlighting palette. What is this? Pacifica. Okay. What is this? Oh my god, wait. I might have just found something. Rose gold shimmer dessert matte. Vegan, wait, what is this? Rose gold, this, this glowing mineral. Okay, Joe just found a NYX, a NYX professional makeup color correcting concealer. How much is it? Uh, no, I can't. I can't right now. But thank you. I just you just got me the other one that was like nine something. You know the Maybelline one, and the Maybelline one is doing great, as you guys can see. I'm wearing that Maybelline um, concealer now, and absolutely no foundation. I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna wear natural makeup, a little bit of lip gloss, a little bit of highlight, and a little bit of bronzer and contour. Um, so uh, as you can see, in all the right places. But I'm so ready for this hair to dry, so you guys can get a, the full effect of it. But um, okay, I can't figure out what this is because. Doesn't say all. It, it just kind of. I don't know what it is just yet. But I need to find something that specifically says that it is a bronzer, contour, and highlight palette specifically. So I'm just gonna start right here because um, we're at like Star um, Start Audio, which I've never heard of. Starlit Starlit Studio, which I've never heard of. Cool. Um, this is an eyeshadow. Wait, Kaleido. I can't see it. Kaleidoscope eyeshadow quad for six dollars. That's really cool and pretty. I do have to say, wait, this one's three dollars. Why is this one three dollars? Okay, that's three dollars. I'm getting that. That's three dollars. Um, that's beautiful. Look at that. Those the I don't even know if you can see how like um, duochrome some of these shades are, but oh, look at that bounce. I mean, who can just bleach their hair and stuff like and tone it like twice within tw almost twenty four hours exactly, and it'd be this healthy? Nobody but me. <laughs> um, oh wait, here we go. Highlight and contour right here by um, Profusion. Let's see. And it's got different shades. Okay. And different ones. And this is a blush palette. And it's it's freaking... Oh, it's $5. Okay, I just found... Yes. I'm gonna, I've heard good things about Profusion, but look at this. Okay. Are these the exact same ones? Oh, I like that Interstellar one. Okay, look. We have Star Coral for highlighters and Interstellar and Glisten. And then these are the contour shades. Um, and then... This one right here, yeah. I, I'm good. I got everything that I need, for sure. Um, two, five ninety nine. dollars um, Okay, these two right here, I've never used ProFusion before, um, cosmetics, but I've heard good things. I'm going to get this. Okay, this this blush palette's a little bit cracked. Let me get to the bottom here. Let me get to the bottom of this. 
Okay, this one's Immaculate, and look at all those different shades. Like, and they have, they have, sh they, have they even have shade names, which I really, really appreciate. Okay, and then this one, um, Highlighting and Contour 2. Uh, it's got six color, um, six color highlight and contour. But yes, I'm sold. I'm absolutely sold. And this one right here, like I said, um, is four dollars. It's it's freaking four dollars. And um, yeah, uh, I mean, I will glance down here and see. But no, this is it. This is this is pretty much everything that I need. So um, let me find Joe and tell him, and then we're good to go. Hello, rest of this vlog. Joe and I are just walking towards the men's department at it right now. Apparently. Um, He's holding the products that I got. I showed you guys or whatever, but I cannot wait to like unbox them, swatch them, try them out on this face. I've never once used a yellow highlighter in my entire life. I'm super, super excited to see what that entails. Really excited about it. The more I walk around and my hair just kind of like blows through the wind, the more that it dries. And I think the Golden Girls would be would be impressed. Now we're going to the men's section, which is right here, because let's face it, um, I need some underwear. Let's just be honest here. And um, okay, I'm not really that I'm not a picky queen when it comes to underwear, so. Okay, yeah, see, like, this $20 bougie stuff, that's, that ain't for me. That ain't it, sis. But, I see some Hanes right here, and this is more like it. Um, let's see. I like ones like, do they even have the ones I like? Not really. Let me keep looking. Hmm. Did you find some cute ones? How much are they? That's, that's the style I was looking for. Huh? 20 bucks. How many pairs are in there? Six. Um, that's kind of a lot, right? How much are these? Look, these are how much? Um, I think it's right here. It says like sixteen forty nine for those socks, but are they tr are they the same Probably. price as those? Yeah. Why are they so expensive? Hang on. Oh wait. Uh. Like he's got like two pairs for, for whatever for fourteen ninety nine. But that's that's too expensive, right? Cause like, how much are these bundles of like, of of hangs that are like nine? You know what I mean? I don't know either. I don't know. I gotta figure this underwear situation out, and we'll be right back shortly. So um, we were just feeling a little crazy. So uh, Joe, show them what shirt you decided to get. Hold it up to your shirt you're wearing now. Okay, you guys, you guys see? <laughs> and then like, you see what he's wearing also? And look, what's it? yeah, he, he, he loves he loves himself some Rick and Morty. And you'll get, okay, we, we decided we're to splurge and you should get a shirt, so it's Britney, bitch. I've never had a Britney Spears shirt since my house burned down and her, the one that she signed at my first concert in 2001 is is in the ashes somewhere. But uh, uh, Joe was dancing really cute with it on, but now he just stopped dancing. I just wanted to show you guys the full haul. I decided on these. It's, it's six pairs of briefs. It was the best deal we could find. It's got um, wicking, I, I think it's supposed to say wicked cool. Cool, cool comfort fabric maybe but it says wicking and if they're obviously I wear a small or whatever just because they don't have extra small and plus like I wear 27 and 28 is close enough so I got these um, they were $20 they were freaking $20 each of our shirts are $12.99 um, I got this palette um, by Starlet Studio which I've heard nothing but good things about and it's immaculate it's, it's an eyeshadow palette but I will absolutely use that for freaking um, highlighter just watch I will I mean a green and an orange highlighter I'm living for it okay I got this by Profusion this highlight and contour 2 it must be the, the second edition I would I'm guessing and then when my hair dries the more I'm just like oh my god I'm looking snatched and I'm loving the natural makeup I've been wearing lately I think it suits me okay and then I got also by Profusion it's got a little bit of blush on it that's fine I wanted to make sure it was pretty immaculate and I just like how these all have shade names even the blushes and the highlights in that palette but no a full a, a six blush palette I'm gonna be good on blush highlight and contour for a good six months and I'm so freaking excited, as well as eyeshadow. Um, and then, all, oh, last but not least, thank you, Joe. Um, I got this Elf Matte Magic Mist and Set. I've never used Elf Cosmetic Setting Spray, nor have I um, used a matte finish um, setting spray, which is beyond me, seeing as like I wear all matte products whenever it comes to makeup, and I think this is gonna do wonders, and I cannot wait to test this out for you guys. But I will see you guys in the next part of this staycation vlog. I love you so much. And have to, yeah, those are super cute. Joe has showed me these 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 uh, shoes. I, if they weren't in the little girls' department, they had them in like the full like size grown women's department. I'm pretty sure that Joe and I would both get a pair. But I love you. I love you guys so much. Joe, do you want to say goodbye to the vlog? <laughs> I'll see you guys next time. Steve Ice thinks you're also very nice. Steve Nice thinks you're also very nice. I don't even know my own damn name at this point. But um, we're going to go check out. And like I said, I'll see you in the next uh, part of this staycation vlog. But don't quote me on that. It may be whenever we're home. Because we just have technically one more night and one more day. No, actually tomorrow's checkout time. Officially. So it's been a fun staycation. It's been a few days. And I'm, I'm so glad that you guys got to be a part of it. And I can't wait to try these products for you guys. I love you so much. Mwah.